Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. Hope y'all hear the voice. Y'all hear the sound. It's your boy James Will Williams. DJ Exclusive is in the building. Good morning, everybody. Good to see everybody's bright, smiling faces. Like it or not, it's about to go down. Good morning, y'all. It's all because of you. All right, y'all, we're going to get this damn show started. But before we do, my GPS just told me to turn around. And now I can't see where I'm driving. Like it or not, it's about to go down. Good morning, everybody. Like it or not, y'all. Rebecca Azor is in the house You know she got a funny story to tell Talking politics, culture, a real life-ish uh, I live in life in the ATL Benjamin, yeah, that's my man He's always coming up with the master plan Politics scheming, they're trying to find the meaning of life And why the feds keeps us in strife I'm your DJ I really don't need no introduction right now But you know what? I stay dropping them jams Y'all know who I am Good hope, dad jokes, culture is politics. What you're hearing right now was the culmination of all of this. I started out with a mic in my hand, and I graduated to a plethora of fans. I love bringing joy to the people. It makes me feel great, makes me feel regal. I do what I do for you. 8 p.m. Friday, you know how we do. Let's go. It's time for like it or not. We're we'll back up as well. Let's start this damn show. Like it or not, y'all. 2023. Let's start this damn show. Let's go. Like it or not, starts now. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Dang, my camera's lopsided. <laughs> it's giving like it's it's on this side. <laughs> yeah, I'll be hating these cameras sometimes because like you think it's straight, but then like you get on here and then it's just like you straight in the frame, but then like the 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 backdrop is like at a 45 or 90 or 20. I don't know. It's whoever's mathematical in the in the chat, whatever angle it is, that's what it'd be looking like. And it'd be annoying. I be wanting to change my camera around too. Like, okay, can I just like change the little button and see what it do? No? Okay. Never mind. I'm sleeping. <laughs> Woo! I was clear in my little out of focus. I heard a whole rant. I heard that whole you rant. Little, you little you little fuzzy. And it's still like Yeah, I just gonna have to deal with it, it a little it's bit. It's like it's, it's like my hip right now. That's how I look like. You know how oh, I walk? Lord. Like. <laughs> is it better though? At least is it clearer? Sharpen. Right All right. It look, it look good though. I like the little like hazy kind of <laughs> are we good are yes. we good audience let me know let me know because bubble's gonna look for an aesthetic i'm just trying to make sure i'm looking all right as far as the i know no, you look little, good it's giving it's it's giving whitney houston album cover right now that's what it's giving <laughs> with, this, with the, the pullback hair the, uh -huh. the water in the background and in the the head, yeah. you know yeah <laughs> Friday night, you and your boys went out to eat. <laughs> <laughs> it's six of y'all, and now the two of you are really what is it? Four of you are really cheap. Four of you are really cheap. <laughs> oh, <no>. uh. <laughs> <laughs> I found your credit card receipt. 
Oh, it's not right, but it's okay. I'm going to make it anyway. Rebecca, you got to do the whole thing on the counter. Uh, it was in the yard. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to Like It or Not, where we're free to tell the truth. And not care who doesn't like it. Good morning, y'all. Good morning, my beloved Baba. I know today was a um, one of those days where it's hard to get up. Um, but we are here. Let me move my my strings and stuff out the way. Right. But we are, you know, listen, we're on the last few days of May. I hope that you guys have been enjoying yourselves um, um, throughout this beautiful month. It's been a hectic month for me. I'm not going to hold you. I ain't going to hold you down. It's been a hectic month. It's been a, and I love this month. This is my birth month, um, but it's been a lot. It hasn't been a bad month, but it's yeah. been a lot. It's been a lot this month. How about for you, Bubba? Oh, agree. I'm going to tell you, I, I'm so glad this month over with because I get my weekends back. I've been DJing and doing stuff every weekend this whole month from graduation parties to weddings. I'm just ready to sit down somewhere. And like I have, I've only booked one event for June and I think that's all I'm going to book. Like I need that, that rest. I need it. Yeah. I uh, listen. I know that it was a lot of peopling happening, happening. And then I turned 33, uh, you know, cause I'm 33. Uh, So when you turn 33, there's a level of maturity that <laughs> there's a level like you know it's another level you've unlocked that other level of maturity it doesn't mean that you're old but you are older right. um so there's the you know the napping that i was getting used to doing before 33 now it, it's become full sleep <laughs> full sleep and it's not just a nap we're talking full sleep you need to rest cool. those eyes but if you rest those eyes, eyes at five don't be shocked when you're waking up at 11 p.m. Mm-hmm. Asking asking your husband that you don't even have if the kids made it <laughs> to the bus stop. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> I don't know why they just took me out because it's like they got neither one of them. Just like, you ain't got the, no kids, kids. the kids you make the school. Husband, oh, shit, it's just me. Never mind. <laughs> oh, well, who are you? Like, well, Ooh, wait, you come where's like, the oh, kids? Wait a <laughs> um, did I walk the dog? I have none of those things. None of them. <laughs> none of them. Okay. Rebecca. So, <laughs> and you don't even have to drink to wake up like that. That's when the tiredness, you know, it's real. You, don't mm-hmm. even, you just got to go to bed early. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because <laughs> you're tired. And that's and that's what that is. Listen, but yeah, let's get to some stories. I know that people have been waiting, but thank you guys for being patient with us yeah. um, and chit chatting with us because you know we're never gonna start a show without having a conversation. All right, Absolutely. with my tech man. Um, so there's a lot of things that went down for Memorial Day. It's all as always we know in America mm. um, to expect. Now it's not even. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Now it's not even um, where we are shocked per se about the events that happen, especially on holidays, right? Um, right. We just um, uh, celebrated Memorial Day weekend or Memorial Day yesterday. And nine people, and uh, uh, nine people, including four minors, were transported to area hospitals following, mm. and I'm going to just say this, a mass shooting at the Hollywood Boardwalk in Florida on Monday afternoon. I'm going to say this right now, mass shooting. Remember when mass shooting used to raise the hairs on our shoulders on our um on our arms on like it used to we would be scared like oh my goodness now did you i got a notification from cnn that told me the top stories and that wasn't included into the top story wow that was not included into the top story a city of hollywood spokesperson confirmed nine people have been shot four of those were minors ages ages ranging from one to 17. The ages of the adults range from 25 to 65. One is in surgery and the others were in stable condition. It happened on the 1200 block of North Boardwalk uh, or near the Margaritaville Hollywood Beach Resort. At 6.40 wow. p.m., an area live cam showed people running away frantically from the scene. It started with an altercation between two groups, which escalated to shots being fired. Uh, And that's according to Hollywood officials. One person of interest has been detained, and police are currently looking for a second 
individual. Several of those victims were transported to Memorial Regional Hospital and Joe DiMiago's Children Hospital. Witnesses say uh, said that they own, um, they saw one baby with a gunshot wound to the leg. Oh, baby. Mm -hmm. CBS News' is Miami Chelsea Jones spoke to tourists who witnessed the shooting and so on and so forth. The same old, same old. Um, yes, you can play. Uh, you can play that if you want to. Let's take a listen to a little bit more on what happened in Hollywood, Florida. Hollywood, Florida Police Department. They say please avoid the area on Hollywood Beach, from Johnson to Garfield Street and the Hollywood Beach Boardwalk, due to an ongoing police investigation. Heavy police presence in the area. If you're looking to reunite with a family member. We've set up a reunification area at Johnson Street and the North Ocean bus loops. ...shirt and camo shorts. We are asking people to avoid the area right now as the investigation continues. We also have a family assistance center that's set up right now. It's near Johnson Street and North Ocean. This is um, an area where families can go and they can talk to de uh, the detectives on scene, ask them questions about family members, and they can also get information about their vehicles that may be inside of the crime scene. We do also want to ask that if there is anybody with pictures or video, we ask them to email Hollywood PD tips at HollywoodFL.org. Wow. I really don't know much more to say. Are we going to do what are I, we're not even giving, I mean, you know what it used to be thoughts and prayers, right? Mm -hmm. We're not even giving thoughts and prayers. We're not even giving thoughts. It's just kind of like this happened. It, it's, it's a, it's a regular day, like rain and sunshine. Right. And this is what we're doing. Um, I think that even like this with this tweet that Brian Krasenstein worked hard on that one, um, had tweeted out. There has been another mass shooting this time in Hollywood, Florida. I just don't know what to really say, you guys, because we're all kind of guilty of like this. We're all numb to it. Right. We're all numb to it. And but at the same time, he's right. Hmm. The Republicans will shift the focus. Conservatives will shift, shift the focus or people who are these who write these think pieces and opinions that get more that get more the, these think pieces and opinions that. That put marginalized groups like the LGBTQIA plus community. And say these bad things about them and act like it's their fault that these mass shootings are happening or it's their fault that uh, uh, earthquakes are happening. It's their fault that we're mm. having tornadoes. It's their fault that the kids are hungry. It's their, like the people who do those opinion pieces and things like that get more, those get more love than the truth. Mm. We see online so much of BS trending, but these mass shootings, the importance, the, the importance and the fact that they do not want us to keep having conversations about it. They want you to worry about a drag show and not the fact that a one-year-old had a gunshot to his leg just yesterday. I, it's another day, another dollar. And I hate that. Yeah, you're absolutely I right. I hate just, that. Just the way everything is going, when you're talking about it, it's just like, I don't even know how to feel. It's, Oh, okay. It's another one. No, DJ so, Khaled Pro, another like, one. That's what when I when I sent it in the chat in the uh, group chat to everybody. Only thing I say, another one. But this is what I'm saying to you right now. Conservatives are winning in that area hmm. because ain't no way mainstream media told me this morning that the top news stories did not include that mass shooting. And, and you know the and that, that's. Really terrible to think about because the way I found out was from local news when they sent an alert saying that there was a mass shooting on Hollywood in Hollywood, mm -hmm. Florida. Mm -hmm. And that pisses me off because it makes me uncomfortable because yeah. they don't want to focus on the conversation on gun control. They don't want to focus on that at all. They don't want to focus on what's truly happening in America but they would run to an interview with Ron DeSantis. Ronaldo DeSantis. They'll run to an interview with him and discuss how, what, did, what was the word that he used? 
He's going to destroy the left. That's what he said. They'll run there, but there was no conversation about gun control. Mm -hmm. I remember when they used to just be like, it's all right. It's all it's our right to carry guns. It's out. They were shooting guns all out here last night. Just shooting guns all, all out here last night. Um, I was looking for fireworks, couldn't see none. They were just shooting guns all here last night. That and that is so crazy. Yep. That's crazy. Be Yep, because it's their right. It's their right to shoot. Let's shoot guns. We have access to guns. It's just our right to protect protect ourselves. Um, and then it gets into the wrong hands, and it's still it's our it's our right. I can't give thoughts and prayers to the people of yesterday. I just really want to know that they're okay, and I hope that you know the same way. We'll hope again every time we get off this damn show, mm. or we get on the show. We're talking about a mass murder every time. Because, and we didn't even know back in the day, just five, six years ago, how to define a mass murder. Mm, but mm -hmm. it's been happening so often where they had to say four or more people. And just luckily, I'm glad that no one um, has succumbed to their injuries. So there are no deaths reported as, as of yet. And I'm, I'm happy about that. But for the simple fact that here we are again, and this continues happening. Mama said it best. You become more aware of your surroundings and be afraid and are afraid to go in large crowds. Then you pray that it's not you or your family next. And that's that's the truth. It's just like it's one of my reasons I don't go out anywhere is because childhood, I might go to the grocery store and the wrong person might be in there. Speaking of that. Yesterday, I was in the grocery store. I was in um, Publix earlier on in the day, mm -hmm. and balloons popped. Oh, I was behind a um, an area, and balloons popped, and I just like I started feeling like I was about to start hyperventilating. I looked around to see if who would stop moving. People just those white people kept walking. And I'm looking, I was so scared. Oh my goodness. I can't go to the grocery store and be and be all normal. I've really lost. I've I've really it's it's scary. It's scary. And yeah. I got the hell out of there. I got the hell out of there. Um, because I was so uncomfortable, I couldn't no no longer um move forward uh, with my shopping. But this is what's happening. You don't know when or where it's gonna happen. We don't feel protected because our lawmakers do not want to protect us. Mm. They do not want to start uh, um, honing in uh, and, 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 and getting and actually looking at what the problem is. And people want to say it's not. I remember this was the conversation. It's not guns, it's people. It's not guns, it's people. Well, if it's people, why are we allowing the laws to be so lenient? Um, why are we allowing the age limit uh, in some states to be uh, uh, to, to not like literally to just be a kid just going to pick up? There was no laws that really can stop people in some states from getting guns, from getting right. their hands on guns. They're not cracking down on how to get guns. They're not looking at mental health. They're not looking at any of these things. They're just looking at, okay, you can get a gun, you can get a gun, you can get a gun, you can get a gun. So all of this is happening and we're not having the right conversations. They're saying it's the people, not the guns. It's the gu It doesn't matter. Why are certain people getting guns? Why, is, why are guns so easy to have access to? What are we doing to stop it? How are we stopping it? How, why are um, people um, um, having access to these military type rifles and heading out in the street for free with them? Hmm. Why did Florida allow, I think it was like um, open carry, just very leisurely out in Florida uh, most recently under Ron DeSantis. So yep. in, in a state where he's already causing division, now we already know that it's going to be very heightened there. This is not something that we can just assume. We know we can assess this. We can say that this is going to happen. Lee said, just said it right there. They scream mental illness, then make it easy for people with mental illness to get guns. Yeah. Like, why, why are there not substantial background checks in place? Like we, we saw already, I think it was China who's, um, for you to get a gun in China, there just a long list of things that you have to go through. Why is it not that easy here? Just don't understand it. No, and 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 we'll continue to um, cover this and see where where we're at with it. But and this happened in Florida. Um, I I wonder if Ronaldo DeSantis 
what he has to say about it this morning. Sure. Um, if he if he has, because yesterday night, as of yet, there was there was nothing. Um, and watching that footage of them on mute running, just having a good time, and then just immediately um, a woman grabs her child. And if you can play that that clip for us, if you take a look um, towards the bottom of your screen. Um, Okay, you have that bureau, but there was a in the clip that I had, there was a um a woman who grabs her baby, tries to figure out if she can run, realizes with these gunshots, doesn't think that she's gonna make it anywhere. Um, so the person grabs over um and tries to cover that baby. And all I could think of the person jumps over, tries to cover the baby. The woman that was holding the baby tried to cover the head of the baby, and mm. it was like, you don't know, you weren't trained for this. Mind you, they're training teachers to do this. They're training kids who can't even, who don't even have the attention span that they should at the age of four and five. They're training these babies, these children, instead of figuring out gun control. Hmm. <laughs> Is now a good time to talk about gun control? Of course not. Exactly. And and just being out there, we was just looking at that. Rebecca, I know you, I don't think I've ever been to that boardwalk before, but just can you imagine, we've been to similar boardwalks before. A can million you times. Imagine being I've in an open that space boardwalk. like that space and you hear gunshots. There is no cover around. You're on a, a freaking beach, y'all. Mm -hmm. That's just, I'm sorry. Yeah. Mm. No, it's, 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 it's scary. It's, um, I don't really know. Like, We've become, like I said, so numb to it that it's almost like they really they like how our reactions are to it. They like that if they don't make it a headline uh, in the media, one of the top stories um, in, in, in mainstream media, that we will just move on because they know another one will come. So if we just act like it's an everyday thing instead of actually making solutions and resolutions towards it, then we won't care anymore. It will be. It would just be an everyday thing. That's right. why we see the passion um, and, and, and Congressman Bowman, I, I believe his name was, Jamal. Um, and then we see those in the, those Tennessee legislators um, who, who were fired and then rehired because of their passion about the murder of children or the, the leniency and, and, and the reluctancy to talk about gun control, to do something. Um, we see that. We see how they're cracking down. Anybody who speaks about it, we're going to make them look as if they're the aggressors. We're going to make those people look like they're aggressive for actually having the audacity to challenge people who don't think that now is the time to talk about gun control. Leaders are being punished for talking about solutions and resolutions or challenging their colleagues to discuss and put in place legislations that make us safe when it comes to guns. I guess now still ain't a time to talk about gun control. Ah, hmm. <sighs> speaking of gun control, let's talk about police control. You know that, like, they're trigger happy as well. Yeah, you know it's graduation season, Bubba. Very much so, graduation season. Mm -hmm. And I don't like when police abuse their authority. Right? I just don't like it. They don't condemn them too. I get afraid because there's no gun control. People on the streets can get guns. People in the corners can get guns. People with mental health issues can get guns. All of the above is, to me, could be associated with a, with a cop too, a police officer who was supposed to be watching kids. All of a sudden, you want to pull out your gun. I say that to say it's graduation season. Kids are having a great time. Kids are graduating. Do you remember when you graduated high school? Oh, yeah, absolutely. We're not like I wish that time I was able to dance down the yeah. we had to we had to have a level of decorum. Remember, we had to sit, we had to do the rehearsals, we had to have a yeah. level of decorum. These kids, I'm I, go celebrate. I think it's great. There are a lot of yeah. things that I don't like that the generation Z and the other ones do, but I ain't mad at them dancing down the um 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 aisles for graduation. You made it, baby. You made it. You mm -hmm. made it, baby. Hello. My Haitian mama in the stands. Oh, Becca, yes. <laughs> then having the Holy Ghost. Lady, what's going on? <laughs> All now. Let them and call then, the next name. But we understand the excitement. Right. We don't know what that kid has been through. I say all of that rant to say, let's take a look 
and I wish I had the name of the high school, but if you have that information, let me know. There's a high school where these children were graduating. And let's take a look as a parent, an auntie, or a family member is watching their child graduate. And they narrate very well exactly what it is. Bruh, they really got the cops at McKinley High graduation trying to stop them from dancing. The principal's like, if you dancing, you got to go sit with your parents and go home. Baby, these kids have graduated. Baby, that officer is really in his feelings. Now he arguing with the teacher. He, ar he arguing with the teacher. The officer. Like, it's really not that serious. Look, you guys, the lit it, was the it was him putting his hands on the girl at first and stopping her. Um, but it was also how much force he used on the young man. I didn't like that specifically on the young man, at any of them at all, but specifically on that young black young man. And yes, the cop is black, but I always like to say, as soon as they put that uniform on, they are going to, they are going to act in supremacy. That's just what we have to understand. That's what we know. Yep. They will walk and move and um, abide in the way of supremacy. That's just what it is. And that is to abuse. That's the abuse of power, abuse of law. They will do that. They will, they will abuse that. And because the moment that they feel like they are not being respected, in any way, shape, or form. These are children dancing, not children. They're waving their cap, holding on to their degrees, or, or what do they call them? Not degrees. What do they call them in high school? They're holding on to their high school diplomas. Mm -hmm. And, ow, oh, for God forbid them get excited about that. That, and you know, this. these are police officers who are trained to fight criminals not children who are dancing and celebrating. Do you understand what I'm saying? Children who are celebrating their moment. Um, uh, somebody made a comment earlier and I want, he said, he, and I, I wish I remembered who made it, but it was something along the lines of, I hate solemn ceremony culture um, because it's not a funeral. You're right. We're celebrating. Understood there needs to be decorum, especially at, but decorum is sitting down. When your name is called, especially at a black joint, come on, somebody. Are we really just going to walk across the stage? No, this, my grades was looking shady for three semesters, for three periods. And now I'm, I'm, I'm walking or yep. Six dragon daddy, or my mama didn't graduate school. And now she gets to witness me graduating school. You don't know what somebody's story is. So these police officers sitting there upset and then having to, and leave the teacher saying, hey, it's not that serious. And them arguing with the teacher because they felt like what they came to protect and uphold. Congratulations to y'all, baby. And I love a little rebellious spirit for the good. I love it. And those kids did what they needed to do. Um, I'm excited. I love to see a good, you know, I love to see a good celebration. And 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 these cops could have made it something different. The attention went from the kids doing a two-second dance to the cops making a scene, grabbing that young boy, following him after they went to look at their cell phone, grabbing him and like handling him, knowing his parents and family members are in the crowd. He just graduated and you're treating him like he's a criminal on his graduation day, making the whole scene. The point, I would love to know. Ben would like to say, as he would say, cruelty is the point. McKinley High School. McKinley High School in what state? Um, looks like it's, it's got to be Louisiana because I saw the LSU uh, banners going around on the thing. If we can get, um, um, if we can, yeah, if we can get the, the, the name and I would love to give a shout out to that school. But shout out to those kids. Um, shout out to... But that culture of police officers who we know are trigger happy, who seem to go and grab on children and treat them like criminals on the celebration day when all they were doing, the only crime that they did was dance and celebrate. Mm -hmm. And and you see that after all of them started dancing, they knew what it was. Everybody knew what it was. Like, oh, I'm about to dance. This is my mm -hmm. high school graduation. I'm about to dance and celebrate. So instead mm -hmm. of them going back to their seat, they walked right on out the door. Yep. Because why would the why would the um, the uh, administration even do that? Why even have police? Now, granted, I, I am reading 
on some of these comments that there was a shooting at a, a graduation previously. So that's why the police were there. No, police but, presence have always been since I was a child. Yeah, always at, been at, at their graduation. graduations. But so it's about you stopping it. them from celebrating themselves. You're, you're stopping them from celebrating. That's not Making stopping anybody. Making a scene anybody. from the like, dancing. I understand. Now, I, and I have seen graduations where they're like, hey, no celebrations and no this and no that. But they still do it. They don't do anything. That's just taking it too goddamn far. Yeah. Y'all love y'all job too damn much to be holding and, and manhandling these kids like y'all are. Mm -hmm. That makes absolutely no sense. As even as a police officer, for just to have a black police passion, officer, come on, man, you don't have to do all of that. You, you know those to, kids. You, you know those kids do deserve that. that. You know, you know, you know what those kids went through. You know it's just a celebration. So for you to try to uphold whatever it is that they told you to do, please get the gun out of your... Hmm. Stop it. That part. Stop it. Those, those are kids, not criminals. Ooh, honey. Ooh, that pissed me off, child. It did. <laughs> It did. Now, what also will add to the stress, because it's always stress. It's, it's, that's why I can't wait to do my little positive segment, but it's always stress. Target. Target removes their Pride Month merch, and I'm just, um, because I, I always got a story to tell. Right here, you know, I'm, you guys, anybody who knows, I'm always talking about Target here locally um, next to me. Always there. Always there, always, you know, shopping. I did see them setting up. Usually I see them, they set, they started setting up early. And I almost think they already knew what may transpire because they set up really early this year um, to okay. uh, get ready for Pride Month. So it was like early May. I started to see things coming out. Um you know, like the, 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 and they, instead of putting them in the main entrance, they put it on the, un, uh, the other entrance of the store. I'm like, why do they do that? Um, so I was just like, okay, whatever. I came in the next, what, three days? Nothing was there. I said, yeah. no, where, where'd all the stuff go? I saw some cute little things that I was going to pick up, but where'd all the stuff go? Like, you know, whatever. I don't care. We, I know where I live. People have a way of thinking about, Whatever. I don't care what your thoughts are. We're going to a store. Pick up what you need and get the hell out of here. I told you. I've watched how they did um, Black History Month um, during the pandemic uh, just for um, clothes and things like that. But here's my problem with it. And I'm just going to uh, read this article and then, and then we'll discuss. But I've actually seen like them remove it. So it's actual and factual. Nothing in my Target store has any Pride Month celebration collection not all. even not even at the back of the store where they nothing. moved most of the stuff they, nothing it's out of the store um so yeah. target which rolled out its pride collection at the start of may is pulling some products from its stores after facing customer backlash saying it was acting to protect employee safety uh, and this is what the company told reuters on tuesday um, they said uh, Target is offering more than 2,000 products, including clothing, books, music, and home furnishings as, as a part of its Pride collection, which I think they've done with any, like, collections that they've done. Those were usually what they include. Uh, the items include a gender-fluid mug, uh, queer all, all year, calendars, and books for children aged 2 to 8 titled Bye Bye Binary, uh, Pride 1, 2, 3, and I'm Not a Girl. Since introducing this year's collection, we've experienced threats, this is what they said, impacting our team members' sense of safety and well-being while at work. Uh, given these volatile circumstances, we are making adjustments to our plans, including removing items that have been at the center of the most significant confrontational behavior. Target has been celebrating Pride Month for more than a decade, but this year's collection has led to an increase in confrontations between customers and employees and incidents of Pride merchandise being thrown on the floor. Let's take a look, because th this ain't a lie. There are several videos um, of people being agitated uh, inside the store as they just came in and read Pride signs. So, let's take a look at one example. That there is no insert nothing on it so it's disgusting as the devil worship
oh y'all trying to trigger me because so all I, this shit talking about he targeted people fuck that target his ass target so, his ass i wish i was in phoenix bro because i'm not one for violence like that but like somebody like that if y'all are letting one goddamn man destroy all of y'all shit and cave in like that how so heartless are you bro i'm not even no because it's strength in numbers F all that, the alphabet gang is going to roll up on you. <laughs> the alphabet gang. We rolling up because... Y'all riding at dawn? Huh? Y'all pulling up at dawn? You picking up everybody? You going to you gonna you have said, a little bus like little Charlie Clark, Kirk and girl, pull up at, at Target oh, um, Enterprises? Whole, whole ass bus with listen, rainbows all over that motherfucker. And rainbows are... <laughs> listen, you going to agitate the agitators? Out there in the streets, but this is what we. But this this is a great conversation to have, right? You're a part of the um, LGBTQIA plus community, uh, what you call the, the alphabet gang. I can't call it that, but see, you you you're a part of the community. But you, I understand your frustration, and and for me, I don't care who thinks what about what or what. I, and I get it. You, everybody has their opinions, their ideas. That's your opinion, your ideas to go and act violently about it is where my problem lies. Yeah. I don't care what you think of me, he, she, they, whatever. Who cares? I don't, it doesn't matter. My opinion, their opinion, your opinion doesn't matter. When you're going to a store and people are just picking up, go get your groceries and go. That's it. That's, That's it. it. Go that get, ain't been doing nothing to your ass. Don't ask somebody to videotape you. And this is where my problem lies. This is what I was going to say at the beginning. When you're becoming volatile, not only to the thing that you're hitting, the sign that you're hitting, but to people who are literally hired, target at Target, Target associates, Target workers, Target uh, uh, um, um, cashiers, Target baggers, who have to set this up or whatever the case may be before the store opens or who are doing it during the store uh, hours. Why would you go and fight them? There are this is this video is soft compared to what I've seen on mm. social media. They're fighting the workers as yeah. they're putting up signs or trying to fix what the people are doing are messing up. They are fighting them in Target, and that is why Target Ooh. allegedly caved in. Yeah. And and don't get me don't get me wrong, because. I don't think Target Target should have, should have caved in, but in this world, yeah, in this climate, why are y'all beating up on my associates? Yeah, I don't need my associates. I don't need somebody to come back and try to retaliate because my associate wanted to protect our brand or to protect LGBTQIA plus community. Yeah. We don't need a psychopath running up in here. We already have these loose gun laws. Amen. So it's a lot that can go into that. But at the same time, I don't think there was much of a fight. Yeah. And you, and you know what, Becca? I, I will agree. You know, I, I'm i not against Target for them pulling that, especially because of the reason. You got to understand. Um, I know that was just in Arizona, but you still have... Um, several target stores across the country. And if there is, if there's a national threat of violence at these stores, that that's a lot of stores. So mm -hmm. I do understand target caving in because you do want to protect your employees. And some of those are uh, LGBTQ part of the alphabets. So <laughs> case it's a lot to say i'm look, sorry y'all i know look, we'll, I we'll to, talk about it i have to study it to say and i know just, and when you say it's so good girl lgbt hey and it's okay. crazy because I'm like, they're, they're going back to just saying lgbtq I, i've seen that a lot so i, I don't yeah. i don't know i've but seen I, that a lot too uh-huh yeah mm -hmm. but yeah i i do understand why they do why they did um pull it it's it's a safety thing um i know at one point during all of this, there were bomb threats at what was it, three or four different targets, and I think it was Iowa. Um, yeah. they weren't substantial threats, but they were still threats nonetheless. And at this day and age, you can't not take it serious. And then there were rumors of Marjorie Taylor Green headed a tweet, 
and we know that uh, that audience runs with whatever they say. But Marjorie mm-hmm. Taylor Greene went on there and I um, talked, discussed, and I actually talked to my, my one of my friends about this, and she was saying that it, it was true that there were um, like tuck friendly clothing for children and things like that. Now there is truth to it where there were tuck friendly clothing. For adults. For adults. For adults. Um, and not for kids. They weren't made for kids. They were made for adults. Um, and the adult section for Pride Month. And yeah. so the, uh, the the conversation that she led was not true. Um, but she used something that was, where they did have that type of clothing for um, to be trans uh, friendly um, it, for Pride Month in the collection. They had that. But she went off and said that it was to be for kids. For, for kids. Yeah. And so a lot um, of people were saying that that was a problem. And you you know the talking points to get a certain group of people upset, even if they are for the LGBTQIA plus community. Mm-hmm. You know that they will be like, okay, now they're going too far. You know the talking points to push buttons and that can get people riled up. Instead of focusing on guns being an issue, you're going to send these psychopaths inside of a target to attack. Hmm. innocent people one of the things that he said in that and that one was that's against god or that's um he was saying something like that at the end but your actions here you being volatile you being abusive you being nasty to people because of what you believe listen the god that i serve loves everybody regardless regardless. he loves everybody she loves everybody regardless (laughs) My God loves everybody. Amen. And you, no matter whatever my belief or your belief or whatever, we can still be in the same room. If my sexuality is bothering you, I don't know what to tell you. I really don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I really don't know what to tell you. If my skin color is bothering you, I don't know what to tell you. Mm. If my past is bothering you, find another place to be. Hmm. Like we No, I don't know you. I do not have to walk in the way that you want me to. I'm not hurting you. I'm not being abusive towards you. I'm just trying to live and get my groceries. That's it. If y'all I'm got just a problem to with grab some clothing just like y'all do every day. Excuse me. That's all I'm trying to do. I am interested to see because Juneteenth is coming up. I haven't seen a thing about Juneteenth. Interesting because remember COVID-19 at the height of the pandemic, not only at the height of the pandemic, we had um, um, a lot of police brutality going on. We had a lot of racial conversations, a lot of inclusivity uh, conversations, um, you know, diversity and inclusion stuff happening. Mm. Yeah, we had a lot of that happening at that time. Remember George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, uh, Black Lives Matter was really trending. Seeing that in a lot of stores, shirts, Juneteenth was hot. They were now giving us a day off. I know you, different corporations were saying, okay, you can get a floater. They was being recognized in some way, shape, or form. And Target, I haven't seen a thing. And I think it's because they know right now the world is almost going back to a norm, also being heightened back to what it, what Donald Trump had brought here, um, what was already here, but it heightened it. And I think we're going back to a place like that. I hate to say it, but with people with leadership like... Um, in Georgia, we got Kemp, and 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 uh, they got Abbott, I believe, in Texas, and they got Ronaldo DeSantis, Ronald DeSantis, in Florida, who's running for president, who says he wants to destroy the left, who talks about uh, drags being the issue, who 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 says immigrants are a problem. Who this is what we know is is is, is happening right now, and I think a lot of the places like Target and um, uh, uh, these other big box stores. They don't want the drama. So they're quietly, yeah. you might quietly go into Target and go through their stuff that's already on the in my Target, the 30, 70%. And I, I mean, shoot, I bought a few pieces, 30 and 70% off. And I'm like, this is a new collection. Why is it already here? Hmm. That has like black friendly stuff, Juneteenth stuff. You're not gonna see these things out loud anymore. We cannot support you out loud anymore. Yeah. It it's just dangerous. just just think about it, y'all. I, I juxtapose it like this. If they're doing all this before Pride Month start, I really think by next year, we're not going to have a Black History Month. Um, Juneteenth, if, if they 
still taking down Pride stuff in Target like they are now. I think anybody that's going to have any Juneteenth stuff up, oh, it's going to be about the same. It's probably going to be 10 times worse. Yeah. I'm going to actually roll. I'm going to actually roll through and I'll update you guys on Saturday. I'm going to roll through because my Target, usually you'll see Juneteenth stuff or some stuff. But I, on um, in February, I told y'all, I'll, those white people could not stand the sight of Black History Month being at the front of the store. So they moved to the not. back. Immediately, those clothing uh, were put into the 30 to 70% off. I try to purchase. I know Target isn't a small business or whatever, but those small business girlies and guys and people who um, they partnered with to put their collections actually inside of a Target store, yep. I support that. And so that's why I'm like, I like to purchase that. But to just not give them their full potential in the store because the area itself does not accept the people for being black or for being a certain sexual orientation, I don't really care. As I, I mean, I, I, it's hard, but I get our the climate of what do you do when people have guns and just get upset and just roll up in the store and say this isn't godly and start shooting. So you take it away. Mm. You take it away. Um, that's what, so, and, and it always yeah. falls in right where these conservatives want it to be. You don't take the guns away. You take the sign away. Hmm. Because the, the sign is more dangerous. Hmm. Mm-hmm. So I need to roll up to my target. You know, my target is in the black area of town where it's like over here. It's a, a lot of black, uh, a lot of black people. Of course, a little gentrification here, here and there. <laughs> and there are a lot of gays as well, too. Camp Creek. Oh, my gosh. It's a lot of gays over here. So I, I'm interested to see how my target handles this to see if they're going to leave everything up. Because I swear, if I walk in there and I see that pride stuff in the back, what's I don't see that they would do. I don't know. I think it's I dependent might, upon. I, I think it's dependent upon the area stuff. for sure. I, I do think it's dependent upon the upon upon the areas, but upon the area mm-hmm. where I upon the area, but um, where the I area. live, <laughs> where I live, it is um, predominantly white. Okay, yeah. and they tried to keep quiet during the pandemic. Um, you know pre-pandemic it was uh, you know even though they had their trump 2020 signs they see me walking through the door they open the door just to say they did their good deed for the day um and we'll see we will definitely see but i'm gonna head over to walmart and i'm gonna see what they're like because they Child along they with have anything. <laughs> along with J- july 4th attire they have juneteenth where i live it's never oh, wow. touched but it has been presented since I've lived here. It has been presented. It's been out there. And I'll see, like, white people look at it as they walk by and then, like, go to the um, the July 4th Independence T-shirts and stuff. And then our Juneteenth ones were all right there because they start in June um, or at the end of May. So I haven't been to Walmart in a while. So I'm going to go down there and check and see what they got going on down there. And I'll let you guys know on um, on yeah. Saturday. I'm and you say, you. Roller Dragon, you say protest and demonstrate. Um it's almost like I'm saying, remember, mm-hmm. Black Lives Matter, we protested, we demonstrated, we got shot in the legs with bullets. I'm not saying that it doesn't work, but I'm saying, like, I don't think anybody cares about that anymore. Yeah. And I hate to say that, but I think that, and not that it doesn't work, um, people can't afford to lose a day of work right now, mm-hmm. like back in the day, because... They're going to make sure you feel it. Oh, you want to protest? Oh, you're going to get stripped of everything. We want to fight. We want to have these conversations, but they put their fear mongering. That's why Target did what they did. Fear mongering. They know what type of people these are. These are the same people in, that are going to these stores that went up there to the Capitol January 6th. Let's never forget. And walked away free and went back to their jobs as doctors, lawyers, um, as uh, the the correctional officers, as police officers, <laughs> as pilots. <laughs> Who should be on the no fly list? Can't get no job. Who should be in jail? Those are the same people that attacked and threatened Nancy Pelosi. Ripped emergency buttons from underneath the desk at the Capitol. These are the ones that are walking up into these stores and doing that. Anywho, I'm just ready to see what this month gonna bring? 
because it's prime month, child. I'm about to be I, loud, and, out and loud with it. Hmm. As you Bro should. Up. As you should. Um, mm, that's more pride issues, but not even in America. Not even in America. Uh, this is in Uganda and mm. Africa. And in, uh, if you are privy to any cultural, like African culture and stuff, it's not shocking that um, there's an anti-gay law because of, you know, culture and stuff like that. Um, but it's a little strong. Uh, Uganda's president has signed into law anti-gay legislation supported by many in this East Afri African country, but widely condemned by rights activists and others abroad. The version of the bill signed by President Yari uh, Museveni doesn't criminalize those who identify as LGBTQ, a key concern for some um, campaigners or, or rights campaigners who condemned an earlier draft of the legislation as an egregious attack on human rights. But the law, but the new law still prescribes the death penalty for aggravated homosexuality, which is defined as cases of sexual relations involving people infected with HIV, as well as yeah. with minors and other categories of vulnerable people. A suspect convicted of attempted aggravated homosexuality can be imprisoned for up to 14 years, according to the legislation. Parliamentary Speaker Anita Among said in a statement mm. that the president had answered the cries of our people in signing the bill. With a lot of humility, I thank my colleagues, the members of the parliament, for withstanding all the pressure from bullies and doomsday conspiracy theorists in the interest of our country, the statement said. So what do you think about that? Because the, the way I look at it, all this stuff is coming out before Pride Month. Everybody's trying to do all this shit now before beginning of Pride. Your camera down and my camera is on the way out too, Rebecca. <laughs> Everybody's trying to do all of this stuff um, before Pride Month. And it's just, it's convenient. They're trying to rouse people, not only here in America, but overseas as well too. I know plenty of Africans that are homosexuals, but this bill is dangerous. It, it can be very, very dangerous. And what that, what all this is, is because the old guard, if, if you know what I mean by the old guard, the old guard is the older people that are in these political positions, not being, what's the word I'm looking for? Just not being acceptive or they just want to do stuff the old way. If you looked at that, that the B roll that we had up, there are so many supporters and so many youth that are out there that are homosexuals. That's part of the LGBTQ plus. I, I that's part of the alphabet gang. <laughs> have so much. You don't gotta say it. it. I don't. The alphabet. So as part of the the gang or whatnot. Um, and we're not a gang, by the way. But, the, but that's part of that. And. It's just that they just don't want to succumb to those ways. I mean, if you looked at the, the parliament or whatever that is that was there, they're all old. Everybody's in there is old. And and that is the problem, I think, uh, across the world, uh, uh, around the world, honestly, is just that we have a lot of older people in these positions and they're just not accepting of the new ways. And the way that they uh, presented it, right? It could be very dangerous in the original manner. But even in this second way, what they tried to do, which I would understand as somebody who says, okay, if somebody is out here actively knowing that they are, yes, you know, um, but it's not, and this is what I want to say too. They make it a gay disease or people yep. who, and that what I think my problem is with it. Cause I think if you're actively not telling people, that you are um, HIV positive and you're going out and you're having sex or whatever, but they try to word it where it's like, that's what we're really doing. We're protecting, mm -hmm. but it's saying that it's a gay disease. HIV is a gay. We've already dealt with that here um, in America, um, even to the point where they have um, said it was a disease coming straight out of Haiti. Um, so it's like, it's uh, they, they're making it a gay disease. That's what they're, yeah. that, that's what it's about. But somebody who isn't can have it too. So this is, you know, let's look at the wording. They're trying to be very, um, they're trying to act like they're trying to protect people. It's not that we don't want you to be gay, but if you're gay and you're HIV positive and you're actively going out and having sex and then your minors are being involved, this is where it's problematic. My thing is, how? why do, mm. why does the White House have so much to say about this when we, how are you in somebody else's business? 
when the hmm. business in your own in your own front yard ain't been handled. On Uganda, um, despite pressure from the international community and, and even global businesses, it seems like President Museveni uh, still intends to uh, sign this uh, bill into law. He sent the bill back to Parliament to make adjustments related to rehabilitation. Activists say it's, it's essentially conversion therapy. Uh, what is the White House? Is how concerned is the White House on these latest <clears throat> developments? We have we have grave concerns, and I think I've spoken to to this particular uh, particular act uh, a couple weeks ago. Uh, look, um, this bill is one of the most extreme anti-LGBTQ plus laws in the world. Uh, human rights are, are universal. You heard the president say this, and he brings that up when he has uh, meetings uh, with the world leaders just across across the, the, the globe. No one should be attacked, imprisoned, or killed simply because of who they are or whom they love. Uh, so the U.S. is engaged with the Ugandan government uh, at the highest level on this issue. Uh, but to your question of if we, have, if we have concerns, yes, we do have grave concerns. How you, y'all the same. <laughs> Uh, are we yeah, not seeing that we just talked about for about an hour how guns <laughs> matter <laughs> but lgbtq issues are <laughs> the issue the most how guns matter over are we not saying how they literally said people doing drag shows is more dangerous than guns <laughs> <laughs> handle <laughs> your business america before you step <laughs> into other people's <laughs> Always putting they they putting your nose in, in some places that, that it don't belong. Is that the old saying? Like you know, sticking your nose somewhere it don't belong. Go Always. sleep in your own front door. Mm. Hello. Like, it's it's all of that. Cause it's a whole lot of shit y'all could be doing here, but so don't get me started. Cause it's don't. Mm. I love they helping Ukraine, but you helping a whole nother country. You can't even help our ass over here. It's so much. It's so much tea no, to pour. No, uh, Ukraine is getting, I, I've said it on this show, Ukraine gets assistance and then Haiti is, it's a problem when they try to get the same. See, don't get me started on today's show. See, we're, focused on, we're focused on what's happening here in Uganda. And I understand the frustrations, but again, that's not our business. I'm sorry that they have that culture over there and, 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 and that's not an excuse for them to do that. But they got to, why are we in their business? They got to fight. They got to fight. We over here. We, we fighting. We, people are fighting. People are dying over here. So I'm going to need our leadership to not hold press conferences being in people's business. Okay? When you ain't every day on the news, they're talking about how drag shows are so scary. Hmm. <laughs> when... Just yesterday, nine people were shot in the middle of Hollywood, Florida, hmm. including a one-year-old. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Mm, 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 mm. Stop playing with me. Let's lighten it up a little bit. Okay. Yeah, let's, let's do it. Part of this world. Haley Bailey. Hallie. Hallie, you know what? Hallie. <laughs> my whole entire, and thank you for correcting me on that. My whole entire life since I've known them, since they were little things on YouTube with Bob Dreads, it's been Haley for me. Haley Bailey. And I said, why would they mama name her Haley and her last name Bailey? I swear that I kid you not. So thank you for correcting me on that. But Princess Hallie Bailey took to the big screen, finally, since announcing um, that she would play the lead role as Ariel in the movie The Little Mermaid. Uh, so The Little Mermaid, as reported by The Griot, made moviegoers want to be under the sea on Memorial mm. Day weekend. Disney's live action yeah. remake of its 1989 animated classic easily outswam, okay words, uh, outswam the competition, bringing in $95.5 million dollars on 4,320 screens. And this was on, this was um, on May 29th. We're on May 30th now, so I know the numbers. Oh, 
grown. Wait, that I think that number, yeah, I think that number may it have. Definitely, it's since grown. Oh, yeah. Um, but we definitely brought in some numbers um, uh, on opening weekend. And so, and I say we because a black folks will always claim anything black, even though The Little Mermaid is not a black movie, but it has this black lead. We will always say us, mm-hmm. um, according to the studio estimates on Sunday. Uh, and Disney estimates the film starring Halle Bailey as the titular um, mermaid Ariel and Melissa McCarthy as her sea witch nemesis Ursula Ooh, will reach eight. 117.5 million by the time the holiday is over and it's over. It ranks as the fifth biggest Memorial Day weekend opening ever. It displaces Fast X in the top spot. The 10th installment of the Fast and Furious franchise starring Vin Diesel has lagged behind more recent. Who cares? Okay, let me tell you something. Right. Because <laughs> he does get into it. This is a big deal. And I want you guys to take a listen um, before we get into the specs. I haven't watched it yet, Bubba. But I want you guys <laughs> to take a listen um, at how big this is. Not only for us who are watching, but let's take a listen on how big it is, how monumental it is for Haley, Hallie, herself. Hallie. Her, Hallie and her family herself. Look at this man. Ooh, dad kicked What's wrong? Your father picked cotton. Yeah. His granddaughter yeah. is the star of the biggest film in the entire world. Boop, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yes. Do you see how generational curse breaking? Do you see how the the um grandfather's father who was picking cotton at five years old didn't know didn't know what he would produce mm. mm-hmm. generations later. Mm-hmm. Didn't know. Everybody was online trying to have a conversation, trying to have those little talks, trying to go online and um, mess up her. Um, what well, was the thing on Rotten Tomatoes? The ratings. The uh, Rotten Tomatoes purpose, score. Yeah. Uh, on purpose, and um, they had to come out with a. This is this is the life. They had to come out. They being the Rotten Tomatoes or the other scorers of the movies had to come out with a statement to say. Um, there's unusual activity happening on the page. So be careful on what you, you see. It's not, it's, you know, it's not going to be exactly correct um, because they were so upset about the black Ariel. Mm-hmm. So upset. But mm-hmm. when I tell y'all, I went and saw it Thursday afternoon at three o'clock movie theater, completely packed mm-hmm. on a Thursday at 3 p.m. Mm-hmm. I was sitting smack dab in the middle of two white families, at least five to six people in these families on the whole row. When I booked my ticket, it was just me by myself in my own seat. So when I get there, just, oh, okay. And when I tell you the little white kids was clapping, the white folks was enjoying it, I, I appreciate it. There's one part when she started singing part of that world, me and the white lady that was a seat over, we started singing the whole damn song together, loud and wrong, but it was still beautiful. Like, the movie was really good, y'all. I enjoyed it. I mean, it's The Little Mermaid. Everybody was like, oh, the, all the singing, it's The Little Mermaid. Come on. She's singing the regular movie. What are we talking about? Like, yeah, so y'all people gotta... just Exactly. But I'm I'm so glad that um, everybody did go see the movie. Every theater that everybody told me that they went to was completely packed and full. And Hallie did an awesome job. And actually, it's a clip going around where she talks about her name um, because it was going to be Haley Bailey and they didn't like that. So they changed it to Hallie and which is very close to Halle Berry. And they, her and Halle Berry actually talked, and they talked who, about the who, name who, who didn't like it. Her parents didn't like it. When yeah, they her parents. Didn't, her. Yeah, oh, that's why me? they changed to Halle instead of Haley. Haley Bailey. It was Haley Bailey's. This is like, no, that's not going to work. <laughs> it still gives so me Haley. Haley gives me so cute Hallie. and just so. Oh, that's, yeah. that's what she gives me. That's what she, that's what she gave me. But so special. she's grown. She, she, she's she's grown. Yeah, the movie's awesome, and I did see Fast. X because it's about family. Um, I did see Fast X on Friday. Mm-hmm. It's just like a lot of 
gravity defying stuff. That's all I can say. If you're in the action movies, it's good. You know, it was it, it is what it is. I enjoy Little Mermaid more though. I'm gonna go see Little Mermaid. Um I have the chance. I'm gonna see Little there. Mermaid and I'm gonna go, you know, <laughs> usually usually I um go on a day where I know nobody's gonna be there. So I'm gonna be here in my area. So that means no one's gonna be there. Um exactly. oh but girl. the people who are out there fighting <laughs> In the movie theaters, get yourself <laughs> under control. You should not be fighting at no Little Mermaid movie. I am sick and tired of y'all going out there embarrassing me and embarrassing your kids. All they wanted to do was watch the Little Mermaid, not Mama getting up to fight somebody else. Cha in the middle of the movie theater, disturbing everyone else's experience. Cha all because I, I'm guessing somebody was sitting in the wrong seat. Stop it. Stop it. Grow up. Get yourself together. You're a mom. You're a parent. You're a In front of your goddamn kids. In front of the kids. That is... So... Anywho. So it was it was so annoying when I saw that shit. I'm like, here it That's is. That's clip that was going viral, guys, for anybody who doesn't know. It was this clip that was going viral, and I just was emb- too embarrassed to finish it. But yeah. That's, we're not going to show that. Yeah, Listen, we're not going to show that because... We're, no, we're not. You know, because though... Get yourselves together in the movie theater. We're not going there to fight. We're going there to enjoy. Mm-hmm. It's for the kids and it's for you. We all know that was part of our world. I enjoyed Little White Ariel with the red hair when I was a kiddo. Yes. Was it my favorite movie? No. Pocahontas was my fave, but you know what I'm saying? Pocahontas. We, and, 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 and the storyline is terribly racist. But as a kid, <laughs> I didn't know a thing. You were supposed to say Lion King. Lion King was it for me. Like, but when I saw that was the brownest person that I've seen, so I mm, usually okay. adapted to to that. Okay, that makes so, sense. So, mustache. Yeah. So, but anywho, still was a kid, enjoyed my experience. Got older, right. still heard about the story, still love the, still love the colors of the wind. Okay, still love it. Ever seen but allow your kids to be a kid, enjoy the movie. People who don't want to see it, don't go see it. If you're mad that, that Ariel is black, who cares? Am I mad that Ariel was white when it first came out? No, that's all we had. Now that we have representation, please hold on, hold on to the raisins in your tuna salad. <laughs> in a potato salad, potato, in potato salad. Because I went to the store at Publix over here and I said, No, they didn't put the is that in the egg salad. Re- Rebecca, for real? In the, yes, they packaged it up to sell it. <laughs> I told you I'm all right. With you were really on the white side. I'm all right with the cranberries in the chicken salad, but I can't. I will not stand for the raisins. Somebody gave me. Somebody said, Rebecca, it's okay because cranberries are not raisins. And then even if they were the crazy ones, I'm even cool with crazins. Those are cool. I am but not raisins. Dealing- with raisins inside, you putting it in the potato salad. You putting it in in the egg salad. You putting. I am not eating that. As I looked at it for like ten minutes, like maybe, it, but no, you no, we're back. You see how they trying to get me out here? The spirit of whiteness is trying to take it over. Was on you. It was, it was trying, trying to, to get, get me. It was trying to speak to me. I said no. My ancestors said no, Libika. <laughs> No, and I had to get out of there. I had to get out the aisle. I said, "No, I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go." I'm glad you did. I'm, I'm glad you got the scruff to get the hell up out of there because I was they out of there. trying to get you. I was out of there. <laughs> I'm like, I'm about to be out of here. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in with us on this Tuesday, the day after the Memorial Day. I hope that you guys are enjoying your last few days of the month. I wish you guys well. Um, If you guys like what you are seeing on today, if you guys like having the conversations, if you guys like being caught up in the mornings with Rebecca and Bubba, you already know what it is. If you're not Mm -hmm. a patron, please become a patron at patreon.com forward slash like it or not. Patreon.com forward slash like it or not. I love you guys so much. It's Tuesday. Go get you a taco. Go love on yourself. Go say something good to yourself in the mirror. I love you. Mean it. I will see you guys on Saturday morning. One Saturday morning. (laughs) (laughs) Bye, guys. All right, y'all. Thank y'all again for tuning in this morning. We love y'all. Mean it. Catch me Thursday morning, 9.30 a.m. for your next episode of the Beard Bunny Chronicles, where we will be talking about... 
whatever the hell it is I want to talk about. So I will see y'all on Thursday. Beer Bunny Chronicles is going down with yours truly, DJ Exclusive. Thank y'all so much again for tuning in and make sure that if you're not already, patreon.com slash like it or not, patreon.com slash like it or not. Your affirmation for today. I pause my whirling thoughts and replace them with calm ones. I pause my whirling thoughts and replace them with calm ones. Love y'all. Mean it, man. We will see y'all Saturday morning. And make sure that you tune in Thursday. Beer Bunny Chronicles with your boy DJ Exclusive. Love y'all. Mean it. See y'all Thursday. Let's hope dad jokes, culture is politics. What you're hearing right now was the culmination of all of this. I started out with the mic in my hand and I graduated to a plethora of fans. I love bringing joy to the people. It makes me feel great, makes me feel regal. I do what I do for you. 8 p.m. Friday, you know how we do. Let's go. It's time for like it or not. We're back to the show. Let's start this damn show. Yes, it's time for like it or not. We're back to the show. Let's start this damn show. Like it or not, y'all. 2023. Let's start this damn show. Let's go.